Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today I am bringing you guys my little small haul that I got from the first day of the Bath and Body Works in my annual sale I did upload a video of like my walkthrough when I went to two different stores and I kind of did some commentary over the video letting you guys know how I felt about the sale and what my thoughts were about everything that they had I hope I did not come across as like too negative or disappointed in the sale trust and believe me when i say i am so grateful and so happy for everything that i already have and the things that i was able to get you guys already know how i feel about you know being upset when you can't get what you want at the sale just be grateful that you were able to get anything at all i talked about this in my last SAS like the winter SAS videos I told you guys to just be grateful for what you could find so I hope y'all didn't think that I was like being negative or upset or disappointed because trust and believe me I wasn't the fact that I already have everything from the sale is no reason for me at all to be upset or disappointed okay so I'm just gonna show you guys my little small haul I got two little bags here to show you guys um a lot of this stuff is kind of like repurchases or items that i needed to pick up because i never got them when they had like a sale or something so yeah we're just gonna start um i'm actually gonna start with this bag okay so like i said in my walkthrough i went to two different stores i don't really remember exactly what i got from which store i don't even think y'all care about that so let me just jump right in so the first thing that i got was this black cherry merlot set i got the lotion and I got the fine fragrance mist let me tell you guys I had picked up black cherry merlot just the shower gel at some previous sale I don't even remember and you guys I took that shower gel with me to school look at how much of this shower gel I used up I did not know that black cherry merlot was so good in the body care so I'm very familiar with it in the candle and the home fragrance the hand soap and everything like that but I was just like in the body care. Mm, I don't know about all that, but you guys, I loved on this while I was in school. It smells so good to me. This is the ultimate date night fragrance. I think this is so sexy and so deep. This would be a perfect going out type of fragrance. I think that it would be perfect. So I decided to go ahead and just get the lotion and spray to go with that little shower gel. And you best believe I will be wearing this on a date night because it is just so deep and just alluring. Really, really like this scent. And I love this packaging. This type of packaging from Bath & Body Works is more expensive than just their regular packaging. So when you can get packaging like this and it's on sale i highly highly recommend it like absolutely go for it so the next little set that i got this is denim and daisies now you guys you guys i talked about this in my haul for all of the new summer care items and i told you guys that i was thinking about maybe getting this scent maybe maybe not i ended up getting it because it was on sale it was seven dollars this really does smell nice this is very nice it's sweet daisy sun wash denim and summer citrus so i was thinking that this was gonna be kind of a fresh type of scent just not something appealing to me but it's a very pretty and delicate scent there's nothing too special about it but there's nothing at all to hate about it either like it's just a very pretty scent if you were to wear this around somebody they wouldn't be able to specifically pick out notes from this they would just think that you smell just pretty effortlessly pretty so that's the reason why i got this this could be a really just nice throw on cute fragrance for the weekend so i actually really like that one and i'm happy that i grabbed it uh i also grabbed the pink tie-dye set now this was one that online i believe they only had the shower gel during the member access so when i saw it in store that they had the body cream and the spray i went ahead and got it i've seen so many people saying that this is a repackage of what's that apple scent that comes out in the fall country apple believe it or not i've never had country apple before and when I smelled this lotion, to me, this smells almost like, I don't know. It smells like a fresh apple, but at the same time, it also smells like a candy apple. I'm not sure if that's just me, but there is something about this that's a little bit more than just that crisp 
juicy apple to me it smells a little bit like the tiniest bit candy like so the notes are pink lady apple water lotus and cotton blossom to me the water lotus and the cotton blossom don't really interfere a whole lot in this scent and and make it very fresh and aromatic i think it really just smells heavy on the apple and it kind of smells like a candy apple i don't know what exactly pink lady apple is do with that what y'all will. I know y'all are like, girl, what? But do with that what y'all will. This smells really, really good. So I'm happy that I will have the shower gel coming as well. I also was able to get Confetti Cake Pop Body Lotion. Now, you guys, everybody loves Confetti Cake Pop. So many people have hyped this scent up. I am so mad. So mad that I could not get this in the spray at least. This really does smell good. So... It smells like a really creamy, sweet vanilla scent, but it's almost like it has a cake batter note to it. Like, you guys know how when you first make cake batter and you're using the little whisk to whip it, how the actual batter smells? That's what this smells like. It smells like actual mixed cake batter with vanilla. So the notes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. I don't think it smells like sprinkles. I don't think it smells like frosting. I think it smells like cake batter and vanilla. This is really, really good. I might have to go on Mercari or something to get the spray because I haven't seen anybody find the spray for confetti uh, cake pop in any of their hauls. So I don't know if Bath and Body Works is not going to put it out during SAS and all they have is like the lotions and the creams, but we'll see. So the last thing in this bag is a cherry limeade shower gel. Now, like I told you guys in my walkthrough, I did order all of the new fragrances online, but cherry limeade, I just... I really just wanted the shower gel. The shower gel smells so sweet, tangy, tart, juicy, refreshing, just like a fresh glass of cherry limeade. Definitely has that lime zing to it, but it does smell like cherries. The notes are juicy red cherries, candied lime, sparkling citrus soda. Perfection. I, I knew that I would like this, so I just went ahead and got another shower gel just because. Moving on to my next bag. So I got a backup of Raspberry Jam Donut. I like Raspberry Jam Donut, okay? And I had to. I had to get a backup of this because this was the only scent from the Bake Shop line that I didn't have another set of. So I have another set of Coconut Cream Pie and I have another set of Strawberry Pound Cake. I was like, let me just go ahead and get another set of Raspberry Jam Donut. I do thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. I think this is one of the most authentic scents that Bath & Body Works has done as far as bakery goes. Exactly, exactly what they say this smells like is exactly what it smells like okay this is literally raspberry jam powdered sugar uh warm fluffy donut it smells exactly like that if you guys have ever ate a donut that has the raspberry filling inside of it and the powdered sugar on top that is literally what this smells like so i could not get another set of that i love it and then this is a new scent to me. This is the coconut hibiscus. So I believe this came out when the coconut line first, first released, which was two summers ago, maybe? A summer ago, one summer ago, two summers. Whenever the original coconut line released, they had this coconut hibiscus and I never got the chance to try it. This really smells nice. I don't think I would want the spray in this one just because this one is more of that, this is more definitely a floral, outdoorsy, fresh kind of scent with a little bit of sweetness from the coconut. I feel like this one isn't a straight up creamy coconut with a little bit of floral scent. I think this is a floral scent with a little bit of creaminess from the coconut. This doesn't actually have the notes on the back. So I'm assuming that what it says is what it is, coconut hibiscus. So... They didn't actually have the spray of this one, but it's okay because, like I said, I don't think I would have picked it up in the spray. The lotion is enough for me. This is just another clean, pretty scent. This is something to put on after you take a shower during the day. If you want to just be light and you don't want to do too much with your fragrance, that's the type of scent I see this being. So, I'm okay with not having a spray of that. 
Another scent that I got, this was actually an influence from my best friend. I was on FaceTime with her when she went to her Bath & Body Works store because she's on the East Coast. So she's three hours ahead of me. She called me when she was going to her store and we were just on FaceTime talking about the scents and getting really excited. She bought Confetti Daydream. Again, this packaging, you guys, this packaging is so bomb. Whenever you see packaging like this in a scent that you like and it's on sale, I definitely recommend it because this costs way more than the original uh, Bath & Body Works scents. Like the lotion is $14.50 and then the regular lotions are $13.50. Same for the spray. These are $16.50 and the regular sprays are $15.50. So a dollar more just because the packaging is cute? No, we're not doing that. But anywho, this smells really nice. This is another just feminine, girly, clean, pretty fragrance. So the notes aren't on the lotion. This is Fresh Raspberry Sparkling Pear Blue Iris. So it's more, it's more fruity than anything, but I feel like that iris has a really heavy presence in this as well to give it that, you know, little floral flirtiness in there. So this is a really pretty feminine fruity still mature floral type of scent i just think it's gorgeous i did not think that i would like this i think i passed up over this all the time during their other body care sales but my best friend told me that this smelled good i smelled it she was right this smells good and this packaging is really pretty with this like iridescent clear uh diamond type packaging i do really like that so i went ahead and got that I picked up a sun wash citrus shower gel so i do have the body cream and the spray but i had never gotten the shower gel smells so good i am such a fan of sun wash citrus as a fragrance so i just wanted the shower gel another one i got is raspberry tangerine i am in love with raspberry tangerine i think this is such a great summer scent it's very fruity Mm, has a little bit of citrus to it it's great i think this is perfect for summertime so i just needed a shower gel of that and then the last two things that i got are both new to me but one of these is a repackage you guys and i'm kind of upset about it okay so i got bora bora citrus surf and then i got tiki bay island margarita now bora bora citrus surf is a repackage of sun wash citrus no wonder they did not bring bora bora out when they released the um this tropical line with the raspberry tangerine sun wash citrus and coconut and everything they didn't bring this back out because this is literally a repackage of this so i might end up saving this shower gel to use with this spray whenever i get around to it because there's no reason for me to have this spray and it smells just like the sun wash citrus i already have so i was kind of disappointed in that i should have smelled it in store but you know i was trying to film and grab my things at the same time so i wasn't really smelling things i smelled it when i got home and i was like oh my god you are sun wash citrus so that's a bummer but i still got it and then tiki bay island margarita i'm not in love with this scent this is one of those margarita fragrances that bath and body works does that is really heavy on that lime and salt in my opinion i i don't love this okay this is that really really zingy zesty it's gonna open up your sinuses type of lemony lime fragrance i just i don't love it but i am going to keep it okay so yeah that's that so that is everything that I got during the first day of the sale. I'm pretty happy with what I got, you guys. Like I told you, I just, I don't want to come off as being negative. I have everything already, so I'm fine with everything that I got. I'm fine with everything that I have. No way am I upset or disappointed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear what you guys got down in the comment section. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the fragrance and beauty army and then hit that bell notification so that you could be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace